Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Kill Shot, The Real Cause. Now, as I have shown in Article 365 entitled Planet X, the cause behind CMEs, the real cause for CMEs is the system of dead stars, which I have named the Planet X system of stellar cores, which come to the sun's corona and draw coronal and chromospheric plasma from the sun. These objects then move away from the sun at high speed whilst enveloped in the sun's plasma. And you can see one of these objects over here in this cactus image moving away from the sun within CME material. When these objects move in the Earth's direction, we are told that we have an Earth-directed CME on the way, which will impact our magnetosphere. But the truth is that we actually have an Earth-directed stellar core enveloped in solar plasma on the way. Stellar cores are energy depleted and therefore absorb energy from the sun. The energy depletion makes them have low gravitational influence, which is why such huge objects can come into the solar system and into the sun's corona with minimal disruption. And you may look at article 210 entitled Stellar Core Gravity, Tidal and G is not constant. They can thus so closely approach the sun that they come into the sun's inner corona. At that distance, their gravitational field, even though it is very small in comparison with the sun's, creates gravitational vortices or solar tornadoes, which connect them to the sun and allows the stellar course to absorb material from the sun. But through the physical contact which is made, they can draw large amounts of energy from the sun. The more energy depleted the object is, the more energy will flow from the sun's core, just like a very cold object in contact with a very hot object will produce a large amount of heat flow from the hot to the cold. The stellar cores also seem to provoke solar flares as a result of the energy draining process. And this diagram illustrates the energy flow that occurs between the sun and the stellar core. Because just as heat flows from a hot to a cold object, uh, so this would be a hot object in contact with a cold object, energy flows from the sun to a stellar core. Thus, more energy reaches the surface of the sun. So this would be the core of the sun. Because of the contact, more heat flows out. So this, the surface of the sun becomes hotter or more active, and the electric field at this point increases. And so this point would be right underneath the stellar core. This eventually leads to an explosive reaction, which leads to the emission of extremely energetic photons. In other words, it leads to a solar flare and causes the ejection of the objects in the sun's corona, which then move away from the sun at high speed, enveloped in a cloud of solar plasma. A kill shot coming from the sun is actually described as a super energetic solar flare. However, as I have detailed in article 401 entitled The Sun's Current State, Brown Dwarf or Planet, the sun no longer has enough energy to maintain its atmosphere in plasma arc mode and has thus lost the ability to emit light. Although it may still emit infrared radiation, as all planets and brown dwarfs do, this means that the sun's core has become depleted and is no longer able to generate large amounts of energy from radioactive decay of unstable nuclei in its core, which seems to be the way that all planets and stars generate energy. And for more details on that, you may look at article 240 entitled Planet X System Effect on Radioactive Decay Rate and Heating of Planets. This means that the sun will most likely be too weak to produce any type of solar flare. However, the sun's weakness will most likely attract more and larger stellar cores to the Earth, which seems to still have a lot of heat in its interior, indicating it still has a lot of unstable nuclei in its core, which can still undergo decay and generate energy.
These objects will interact with the Earth's ionosphere, most likely generate electrical discharges between themselves and the Earth. And these discharges could have a similar effect to a kill shot coming from the Sun. The larger the objects, the larger the possible discharge. These discharges, if large enough, could induce electric currents in power lines and bring down the power grid worldwide, and thus end our electricity-dependent civilization. So, in conclusion, even though the Sun seems to be in too weak a condition to be provoked into producing a large solar flare or a kill shot, the stellar cores which have caused the Sun to reach this stage of depletion will, through their interaction with the Earth, be able to produce an electrical discharge which could have the same effect as a kill shot. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.